back we're going on an adventure going on an unplanned unexpected adventure some events have happened in my life i spent kind of like the most part of the year depressed probably the most depressed i've ever been it was actually really bad and i i didn't realize how bad it actually was until like now that i'm like out of it and my energy is like like me again and light you know what i mean i don't know i just didn't realize how bad and how like isolated i'd gotten and i just think i'm spending all this money like living alone in this apartment and i just feel like there's other things that i could be doing with that money instead of it draining my bank account so the plan is instead of getting evicted <laughs> We're going to. My mum lives in a static caravan in the middle of Wales, which is like South Wales. My, my sister lives in South Wales as well. So my mum is not going to be in her place for a few months. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go there for a few months and kind of figure out what I want to do and where I want to go next. It came, kind of came at the most perfect time because Liverpool isn't for me. It's, it's a great city and I've enjoyed being here and I feel like I've learned a lot about myself by being here. But I think... The best thing for me to do now that the option is there is for me to go to my mum's, spend some time with my sister and by the beach, spend the summer there and then kind of figure out what it is that I really want to do after that. And I just feel really grateful that this opportunity has come up for me to be able to have that kind of support because I've never felt that kind of support really. It, I'm feeling so supported and less alone because I don't know, like I have this thing where like I have felt alone for pretty much like all my life it's been really nice for me to be able to feel more supported i'm gonna get emotional already <laughs> more supported like i can lean on some people in my life <laughs> I don't know, yeah, obviously you guys don't know the ins and outs of my family situation, but it's very complicated and it's very divided and um, this is kind of the first time it's ever felt really safe for me to rely on parent. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Okay. My arm's aching, I'm not gonna lie. Oh God, I feel like I'm getting my sparkle back. I feel like my sparkle was gone for a little while and now it's coming back and I'm so excited to just take you on this. <laughs> on this adventure with me i'm excited because it's literally gonna be in nature oh my god it's just exactly what i need and then i can decide then what i want to do next and i know that once i've gotten over this attachment to this apartment i had i'll sit down and talk to you properly about this situation with my apartment but I feel like i'm gonna turn into a typical sagittarius and we're gonna be in for a ride <laughs> because i'm turning 30 years yeah oh my god it's so hot in here i'm literally sweating my absolute balls off we have got a lot to do <laughs> a place and go into a new place because i feel like i'm always when i move house it's usually like like leaving an older version of myself behind that sounds so cringy but i feel like yeah it's like i'm a completely different person to what i was when i moved in here and that, that just makes me really emotional because <laughs> i'm really proud of myself <laughs> this is not what i had planned but I think like the universe is like pushing me towards doing this and it's like it's weird to like let go of an attachment it's like living by myself I always put like some sort of like worth in that and being like oh it means like what it, what it says about me in society like oh, I'm a successful person because I live by myself and I live in this like beauty clean girl flat like you know what I mean like everybody sees it on social media and I think like the reality is is like <sighs> mess but like i think the reality is is like i just haven't been myself here but it's like now i it's like as i'm leaving i feel more like myself than i ever have done it's like the back end of it these last couple of weeks where i've like made the decision to move and it's like i now like it's, it's weird for me to explain because if you, you either get it or you don't get it you know what i mean but it's like it's always just like I'm leaving a past version of me behind and it's like I didn't realise how like depressed for the first part of the year that I was, you know? That's just like getting me emotional and I just like need to release that.
Because when you release emotions, your vibration gets higher because you're no longer like carrying the emotions inside of you. You know what I mean? many beauty products so I have oh hey excuse the bit god's sake I will not miss that let me just tell you that because that's going on for like a year all this stuff I use you know what I mean oh, for different occasions the stuff that's going in storage that's the stuff that's going in the bin I kind of want to take that stuff with me I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit it all in if I'm honest and then I've got what's going on done it in like my Invisalign and then I've got this stuff as well. I can't take it all with me. I'm only going for three months. Yeah, but are you though? Yeah, but you can always come back. Yeah, there's beauty products. If they're open, they need to be used. Like, this is a dilemma. But it's unnecessary to have this many products open. It's just, it's unnecessary. You don't need it. You don't need it. Realistically, on a day-to-day -day basis, how many products do you actually use? Because it's not all of them. You know what I mean? You don't need this many products. I think I feel like you go. I feel like I'm taking things as if I'm like, oh, I might need that. Oh, I might need that. Like I can't buy another one. I'm gonna carry on going through it, and then I'm gonna have to go through it again. It's gonna need I need to sleep on it. Like, is is it really that deep though? You know what I mean? These things don't mean anything. This is the giveaway pile so far. I'll go through it with you later. But there's a good few hundred quid in there already. Two days until I need to put my stuff in storage. Have I packed? No. Have I decluttered? No. Slightly. We're, we're on the way. But I've got a lot of stuff to do and very little time. And I'm looking around at my stuff and I'm like, oh, there's so much stuff. <laughs> you're just like, this is so much. <laughs> this is the biggest roll of bubble wrap I've ever seen in my entire life. Amazon, if you're wondering. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. I have to start some more piles because I've got one storage pile one taking with me pile and one completely getting rid of pile <sighs> a little bit overwhelmed but we've got this we're going on an adventure I'm fucking excited <laughs> we're gonna be by the beach feels very real that I'm leaving and that like putting my stuff in storage is like something that I've always wanted to do but I have felt really scared to like do it and I feel like there's been an opportunity has never like come up before to go to my mum's oh, I just feel like really grateful <laughs> sometimes when you have felt really alone and like supporting yourself and then somebody comes along and like like can support you in some way whether that's emotionally, financially, like whatever it is. I, know, I just feel like it's like a release of pressure. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's like a relief that like, I feel like I'm not on my own anymore. Never did I think five years ago that I would say that like for a few months, I'm gonna move into my mum's. I'm gonna be in the countryside, literally in the middle of nowhere. Like I'm a city girl, I'm a city girly, okay? But I feel like when I'm in the city, my mind is so busy and it's almost like I can't hear myself sometimes. It's almost like I can hear like, I know there's things going around in my head all the time constantly and I just feel like I need that bit of space just to be like in nature. Obviously be by the beach and like I love being by the beach. The beaches in Wales are beautiful. Like Wales is beautiful. Yeah, I'm excited to just see what like this next chapter has in store for me in terms of like me learning more about myself. And I feel like I've been really tied down for a long time with just like living on my own. And it's a choice that I made, but it was kind of like a choice that I felt like I had to make. But now there's this other option that's come up 
I mean, there are always other options. We always have choices. It's just like, you know, I, I think that we can get so tied up in like how we think our lives are supposed to be and how I how we think our lives are supposed to look that we like lose sense of what our like heart and soul really wants. You know, does that make sense? That was a deep chat. Love that for us. It's just who I am. I'm supposed to be a free spirit. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> it feels weird to me as well, like going through like all of the emotions and all of the things that are coming up in my mind in this process of being like, you know, like I'm 29 years old. In six months, I'm going to be 30. I don't have a partner. I don't have a house. I don't have a dog. I things that I thought that I had to have by this age. It's just a load of bullshit. And it's like you have to like free yourself from staying in that like prison of, oh, hello, darling. Hello, darling. <laughs> I'm taking that as confirmation from the universe. <laughs> yes, I'm that girl, okay? I'm that girl. Uh, it's like freeing yourself from the expectations that society and the world and other people place on you and just realize that like, you know, when other people are judging you, it's based off of how they think that they wouldn't be accepted by the world and it's literally got nothing to do with you. It's time to do the part that I've been avoiding, which is my clothes, because I don't know if you get this right, but you know when you need to have a clear eye and you can just like sense the old vibes that are like on the clothes? That's what I feel like is gonna happen to me and I'm just gonna end up being like, no, 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 and then I'm gonna end up with nothing. Putting all of the things that I'm putting in storage in these bags, which I just got from Amazon, and they're just like these huge like laundry bags. I just feel like this is the best way to transport clothes anywhere if you need to. So I've got a few of them. is like the one that you get from M&S but it's like a dupe. Strawberry, the chamoire spice mix. These are my favorite crisps right now. These tortilla chips, sour cream, and zingy lime, Tesco's finest. So freaking good. Some sushi to have right now. A protein bar. Oh no, I always do that. I forgot to get eggs. I'm moving somewhere, it's like a new apartment, you know what I mean? I mean, it's great because my mum's not gonna be a place. So it's still gonna be like my place, but it's like not gonna be my place. It's like a different way of moving. And then I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that. I do have like something in mind that I wanna do. Either me going to one set of places or another set of places. That's what I have in my mind right now. But let's just not get too far ahead of ourselves and just focus on being in the present moment. I'm very excited. <laughs> are packing. We're having a pizza and packing party. <laughs> Jade and Tegan, well Tegan's on her way. Current situation is a bit messy. It's a bit stressful. Yeah. It's a bit stressful, it's a bit messy, but we're gonna tie our hair up and we're gonna crack on. <laughs> <laughs> Please. 
sewing room. It's really expensive as well. I'm really, I'm, oh. I'm actually sad about that. In case there's loads of books and stuff, like in case you oh. and Tegan just want to take it. And then that beauty thing. Oh, friggin' hell, I didn't walk into that. Oh, God. Sorry. No, you look at all the Tegan's made cupcakes. How cute is that? So cute. They seem to have had a little bit of a situation and Jade has gone home so it's just me for a second tegan's just gone out to do something and i've decided that i need to pack my suitcase because it's like everything is coming back to me packing my suitcase because it's like i need to figure out the things that i can actually fit inside and then everything else needs to kind of go in storage so that's what we are going to do now i'm going to put you on my drive <laughs> And we're packing, so yeah. I don't know if you can see my eyes, but like that's how like stressed and tired I am. <laughs> Pack. That's all to go to the storage. My suitcases are over here, and I uh, not everything fits in the suitcase, so I gotta just really quickly just take out some things that can't go with me and go to the storage. Uh, I'm tired. And I just can't wait to smell that fresh sea air and put my toes in the sand. Everything that I'm feeling right now is going to be worth it. Mm -hmm. 